everyone welcome back to another undead world hero survival episode today we'll be featuring cookie um one of the heroes that dropped last week and let's take a look at her skills first guys um she's gonna be here and here i was able to get her around two days ago was it yesterday um i got her only one copy of her i'm still testing her out um with her base you know base tier so uh, she's only at epic so let's take a look at her passive guys um what you know about cookie she has a lot of aoe damage in her skills but for her tough cookie her passive all allies gain four percent attack power for 10 seconds when cookie uses any skill this is actually bumped up to six percent and doubles for any collegium heroes on her squad so um if it's a non collegium hero uh, the maximum is 6 times 5 because of 5 stacks. So that's roughly 30%. If it's a Collegium hero, it's 60%. Not that big of a buff. Okay, so again, um, whether you put her in a in a, a mixed team or a full Collegium team, she is going to be good with all those buffs. Okay, next is going to be... Um, turnover, which is Cookie Swings or Rocket Launcher, 180 degrees, knocking back enemy uh, nearby enemies and dealing 200% attack damage. Each time her launcher makes contact, she gains 80 SP. So this is one way for her to gain SP to you know to pull off her ultimate. Um, but this requires enemies to go near her. So I, I doubt that she'll be using this as much as um, if you put her in the front. But if you put her in the back, mostly your melee or tanks are in the front. So she'll be mostly protected unless if somebody sneaks on the back. Next is going to be Cherubomb. Cookie lobs her mega grenade, inflicting 300 attack damage on the enemy within the blast zone and stunning them. So decent um, attack of 300% damage uh, within the AoE and stunning them for 3 seconds. This increases to 400 and uh, the cooldown is decreased once you level up the skill. Uh, let's go back to turn over. Um, this one increases to 300 and gains 120 XP for each enemy struck for level 3. So again, it you know uh, goes up. For her ultimate, Cookie fires an RPG at 500% attack power, setting all enemies within the blast zone on fire for 6 seconds. Fire deals 50% attack power for each second it burns. So that's 50 times 6. That a that's a, an additional total of 300% attack power being dealt to those who are on fire. So the maximum um, percentage for the attack is going to be 600. Uh, once you level it up, then the, the level 3 is going to increase the blast zone. And level 4 is going to decrease uh, her cooldown uh, skill. So you're going to be valuing Cookie based on the buffs that she gives particularly in attack and also the aoe damage that she's going to be dealing so she's a two-prong um hero when it comes to team building okay so let's move on to what my cookie looks like so this is what she looks like so far so i haven't been lucky further than getting her now a uh, couple of days uh, I don't have copies for, uh, of her yet, so she remains at epic. But again, I can feel the buff that she gives even if she is at this low level. So let's take a look at um, some action. Campaign. Um, campaign is going to be tricky because I haven't I haven't pushed campaign way beyond the current stage that I'm in. So 12 that's 25 this is actually very difficult i don't think we could sample her here I'll, we can actually sample her more in uh zombie express so far what i did because right now collegium doesn't have that many damage dealing what i did was i, I built a team around her which is uh blue banshees so four so that i could take advantage of this bonus the 15 percent and the hp more on the 50% attack power plus her own buffs plus the buffs of um, of Lita then this is going to be good so 
let's take a look at um, this team actually gave me 7 million already in this run so let's take a look at uh, the, actually that's the high score that I got earlier let's see if this team can still go 7 million and above again if you pair her with Lita and you put a lot of damage dealers with her ideally with with the uh, with this stage with your zombie express you will need a lot of aoe damage dealers here so for blue banshee i only have um i only have two which is murray and Brittany. um preferably i could have changed tyler but i don't have anybody that is good enough to deal that enough damage or any more aoe with the same faction so I had to go with this. I actually tried the I tried switching out Tyler with uh, Rock, but again, um, the buffs don't you know were not given enough buffs. So I'd like to stay with this and see how it's gonna go. So we're at three million guys at forty seconds left. So hopefully we could just go by seven. Um, I I did a couple of runs for this one and um, she can really maintain. Uh, what do you call this? She can really maintain the team at seven, you know, at seven million. So far, we're at seventeen seconds. We're at six million now, so more. So with AOE, with a lot of AOE, it's gonna be more. No, it's uh, seven three six something. So again, it this th that team with only her in epic. Um, using her buffs is really great so if you have the opportunity to put her in a, a you know a solid same faction team just put her there as buffs um i have lita here but most factions don't have um lita as buffs so you can uh, you, you can slot her there with uh, four of the same faction then you're ready to go again the, her buffs are very good um she will actually definitely give me more value moving forward as I level, level her up. But for now, I'll have to be contented with her being an epic. Okay, so what else? Uh, PvP, she is going to be, you know, she's going to be good uh, PvP only in Raging Rumble. Especially um, in the what do you call this in the um, I think in the second squad uh, or third squad, not on the first squad because there there are just you know there are little heroes to buff. But in the second squad, if I put her there, let's do some you know do some tries here for this one. Let's put her in the second squad. So for the second squad, I have. This team, I'm gonna take you out and put in. The... Okay, then because on the second squad, more or less you have more than five people to buff with her buff, so it's good. Usually, when it's on the third squad, she's also gonna be good there, but usually it's either you're losing already or or you're winning already. So let's try this out with her on the second squad. So for PvP, I would suggest you put her in the second squad. Um, again, her buffs are very, very good. That is why I always bring Lita because of her buffs. Um, but for Cookie, she's going to you know be terrific if you're bringing Collegium usually. And it's actually good news for you know for beginners because usually you start out with Connor and with Caddy, so once you have um, Cookie as well, Cookie can really complement your team. So again, she's gonna be good in your second squad for your Rumble. Then what else? She's gonna be good in Skyscraper as well, um, particularly in this floor, in which um, it, this is actually faction based. For the regular skyscraper floor, this is going to be what do you call this? This is going to be more on um, more on defense because you have to survive waves one, two, and be able to clear it until wave three. So if I have this, you know, if I have this uh, lineup, I can actually try to take out uh, um, 
either Abigail or it's gonna be Abigail because again the buffs the sorry the buffs for four heroes of the same faction is actually you know um, good at fifteen percent. If you want to buff the team more, then let's go with uh, let's let's give this a try. Let's give Lita a try. Let's put her there. Okay, let's try this out. See how it goes. See if I can withstand this onslaught. So what I do actually, um, Brittany's the key here. So just before Brittany does her ultimate. What I do is turn off her auto or turn off the auto of everyone so that I can reserve her ultimate skill in the, in, in wave 2. Then once wave 2 starts, I turn on auto wherein she uses her ultimate. So that is actually just the manual part of uh, this one. So again, we're in wave 2 where I think we can survive this except for Lita. So hopefully I can reserve that one for wave three. So hopefully we're gonna be good. Okay, so this is what is left. Let's do this. Hopefully we clear wave three with Lita here. Lita again um, has very good buffs and she can really really deal a lot of damage. Hopefully, I can survive this. Um, Lita is actually dead. Uh, sorry, what I meant was Cookie. Cookie has a lot of damage. Um, hopefully, I could uh, weather the storm. And I think I can. As you, see, as you can see there, Skyscraper, not a problem even for Epic Cookie. So, that's it. So, again, she's going to be good for... Uh, arena but only in raging rumble she's gonna be good in zombie express and skyscraper um if you build her well she's gonna be good as well in the campaign so almost all pve content including one uh one uh of uh, including the rumble and the arena is gonna be good there so again great kit uh, great buffs um really what collegium needs but again collegium needs a lot more than just cookie anyway guys thank you very much for staying this far in this video so for those who stuck this far please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot don't forget as well to click that bell icon and put a like to this video thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here